I'm Roger with Synthesizers.com and here's what you need to know about pitch and gate signals. In a modular synth, it's up to you to patch the modules together to get the sound you want. Besides audio, there are two special signals you need to know about, pitch and gate. This isn't complicated, but it's very important to understand to make the modular synth work like you want. All of these signals are patched using the same type of patch cables. The benefit of this is that you can patch anything to anything, even if it isn't logical. Sometimes with great results, sometimes with useless results. Let's start with pitch. Pitch typically comes from a keyboard or a sequencer, and it's used to precisely control the pitch of oscillators, like this Q106. A pitch signal is just a simple voltage, and each volt corresponds to an octave. Each semitone corresponds to one twelfth of a volt. This is the one volt per octave standard that many modern synthesizers use. Exactly which note plays depends on the setting of the oscillator, and there's no absolute standard for that. The one volt per octave standard sets the relative distance between the notes, not the absolute note. Some keyboards only produce MIDI, so a module like this Q174 MIDI interface is used to create pitch and gate signals. It's that simple. Pitch is just a voltage on a patch cable, and it allows oscillators to track correctly using the 1 volt per octave standard. Now for gate. Gate is just a signal on a patch cable too, but it indicates an on and off condition, like the pressing and the releasing of a key on a keyboard. The gate signal has two conditions, on and off. Off is 0 volts, and on is 5 volts. The exact voltage can vary somewhat and still work. Gates are mostly used to start envelope generators, but they can also be used in other places where on and off signals are needed, like starting sequencers, clocking sequencers, and controlling switches. Gates are simple. They're just on and off signals that are usually used to indicate when a key is pressed, but they can also turn on and off various modules, start sequencers, and clock sequencers. Pitch is simple too. It's just a voltage on a cable that indicates which note is being pressed. That drives oscillators using the 1 volt per octave standard. Understanding pitch and gate is very important to making a modular synth do what you want. The best way to learn is to experiment. It's a lot of fun, but don't worry, you can't break anything. <laughs>